Yeah, okay, this next poem, um, Shakespeare was considered an INFP, or by psychologists have classified him as potentially an INFP, which is the same thing I am, it's a dreamer. It means he has his capacity to, to create thing, the, things in your head that don't exist, and it's not a, a sign of insanity, it's just talent, it's creativity. And Shakespeare lived in his, crea in his creative mind. So this poem may or may not be about something that's real. It may just be about emotions he was feeling or a situation. But what I find interesting in this is he talks about coveting other people's things and wanting other people's things and hoping to be like someone else. But then in the end he finds out, he, he, he says it's not significant because what matters is love. And I get that in a way because I, though I experience jealousy and I can experience um, potentially coveting something what someone else wants, the reality is I recognize the fact that someone else's life is not necessarily greener than mine. So even though I'm for, um, I may have a layer of jealousy about someone or something, or relate someone else's relationship, someone else's things, the reality is I know for a fact that it's not really jealousy that runs me. It isn't. It's more like I'm driven by justice and by fairness and by love and by needs of doing things right. Because even in this poem, Shakespeare at one point says he doesn't like having these feelings. He actually kicks himself. There's one line in it where he specifically kicks himself. So anyway, sorry, I'm digressing on this one, but I find this one really, of all the poems I've done, of all of his songs, fascinating. When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state, and trouble death, and trouble death heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope, featured like him, like him with friends possessed, Desiring this man's art and that man's scope with what I most enjoy contented least. Yet in these thoughts myself almost despising, happily I think on thee and then my state like to the lark at break of day arising from sullen earth sings hymns at heaven's gate. For thy sweet love remembered such wealth brings that then I scorn to change my state with kings. Now, I mean, as an actor, I don't care about being royalty. I don't care about being a celebrity. I think that all of that is shallow. The people in the industry, a lot of times, I think some of them put up facades. They put up these, like, walls, and they want everyone to think that they're happy and they're beautiful and they're wonderful, but you chip away at it, and they're not perfect. They're human. They have flaws, whether it's alcoholism, drugism, or a history of violence against women even. Think about it. I look at Weinstein and the industry and what's going on with him, and I look at all the people around who, who were connected to him, and it makes me wonder. Because some of these men claim to be supportive of women, but are they really? How many of them look the other way because they put their career before the women. Weinstein should have broke 10 years ago, not now. It should have broken. It took us getting a president who is a sex predator for Hollywood to do anything about their own backyard. Thank you. Bye.